performing the Scorpio handstand. Before performing the Scorpio handstand, ensure you are comfortable completing a Gemini Scorpio switch, basic inversions, and basic handstands as well. So when you perform the Scorpio handstand, what you want to do is start off in a Gemini or an outside leg hang originally and perform a Scorp Gemini Scorpio switch. What this does is allow the pole to really hook into the hip flexor of your Scorpio leg, which in turn is going to help catch you on the pole. Once you do that, so once you're in your Scorpio, you're going to place your hands above your head on the ground. Ensure that you are high enough up that you are sliding down to the ground so that your arms can be fully extended. A handstand isn't strong when your arms are flexed. You want to be able to push directly through the hands, making your handstand stronger and feeling a bit more secure. Once your hands are on the ground, you want to ensure that the pole is in the shoulder of your inside arm. So the same leg that is hooking for your Scorpio, you want to ensure down that side the pole is pressing into the back of your shoulder. What this does is hook the pole in the front of the hip flexor and the back of the shoulder, creating a counter pressure which will hold you in place. Once you feel comfortable and secure in that position, you want to bring your, your feet towards your face, so dropping the legs to the floor, which will push the pole deeper into the hip flexor and hold your position. After that, all you're doing is opening up the legs to perform a handstand. Gemini or outside leg hang, ensuring you are high enough on the pole that you will be sliding down to get your arms. Perform your Scorpio switch, so bring that leg around nice and low and hook it into your hip flexor. From there, switch your legs into a Scorpio position. Notice that the pole is already in the back of the arm, so when I put my hands above my head, I just place it so that my hands are comfortable and the pole is still in the back of the shoulder. From here, ensuring that your hands are, your arms are fully straight and you're pushing actively through the floor, you are going to drop your leg towards your face, remove that hook, and bring the leg toward the face as well, thus creating a pressure between the hip flexor and the shoulder. Leg down, releasing the hook of the inside leg and dropping the legs towards the floor. 